in the last session we read about cartography new and old terminologies historians and their sources and new social and political groups now in this session we are going to learn about region and empire region and empire some groups like the cholas tuklaks and delhi sultans emerged powerful and acquired many regions and established their empires conflicts over the acquisition of the areas were common not all rulers were successful in maintaining stability in their areas regional states reemerged with the decline of the large empires regions continued to feel the impact of large empires keeping their distinctness the next topic is old and new religions religious developments too found their way during this period religion was a supernatural agency connected with social and economic organization of communities hinduism saw important changes like emergence of new deities construction of temples and growing importance of brahmanas who had knowledge of sanskrit text idea of bhakti emerged in this period it professed reaching the deity without the aid of priest or rituals new religions like islam emerged in the subcontinent through merchants and migrants islam began to be interpreted differently by its followers sihas had faith in muhammad sanilla ali as their leader and thani accepted the authority of caliphs the last topic is thinking about time and historical periods changes took place in the social and economic organization with the passage of time british historians divide the history of india into three periods hindu muslim and british periods as religion of the rulers was the only important change early societies included hunter gatherers farmers empires and kingdoms medieval period saw the rise of regional and imperial states development of hinduism and islam and arrival of european trading companies modern period is sensed as a period of material growth and intellectual advancement unlike the early periods questions for this session first question name some groups emerged during 7th century second question who accepted the leaders of caliphs third question how did british historians divide the history fourth question what were the religious developments during this period this question you have to refer your content book page number 11 and 12 thank you children